slogging down the west end. Me too. I got the other two sides. All right, great. Let's go. Best friend. Thank you, Moochie, for your touchy concern for my arteries. Now, what are you after? Huh? Come on, we didn't name you Moochie for nothing. You want something. By the looks of this breakfast, it's probably expensive. Now, what is it? Dad, you hurt my feelings. Moochie. Well, now that you mention it, I've been thinking. We need a dog around here. No way. We have had this discussion. Dad, it'd be a lot of fun and good protection. Yeah, and my eyes would puff up and my nose would never stop running. I already solved that. Look, allergy medicine. Where did you get that? Moochie, I don't like dogs, and my sinuses hate them. The day a dog moves into this house is the day I move out. And I'm not moving out, so forget about it. Wilby, get out here and mow this lawn. Looks like a jungle. Here, here, Missy. Roll over, girl. Come on. Come on, girl. Cats. I don't get it. Oh, no, not again. Bundles, no! Bundles, stop it! No! Bundles, stay! Bundles. Bundles. Isn't it a beautiful day? 
beautiful morning, Moochie. I couldn't sleep a wink last night. What's the matter, dear? A lion Ben worried about burglars breaking into our house. Well, I certainly hope that doesn't happen. Mom, I just think we need something loud and scary to find away burglars. Well, that's what we have your father for. Is he out taking his run? Yeah. Aw. Oh, isn't that nice? Go away! Get out of here! Your dad and bundles are jogging together. What do you want for breakfast, Moochie? I want a dog. Well, we've got bacon and we've got sausage, but I think we're all out of dog. Has Will be had his breakfast yet? He's out in the garage working on this stupid invention. Well, you tell him to get in here right now. Scientists need their breakfast just like everybody else. If Thomas Edison's mother had not made him eat breakfast, he might never have invented the light bulb, and then we wouldn't be able to see what's inside this refrigerator. Hmm? I'll go and get him. Thank you. Greetings, future generations of scientists. I am Wilbur Joseph Daniels, and I have invented the world's first perfect clean burning engine. And the best part is, it doesn't require any fossil fuels. Observe. Ordinary lawn clippings. Grass is a cheap, easily obtainable fuel available right in your own backyard. Wilby, why are you putting grass in your car? Shh, quiet, Mochi. It's not grass, it's fuel. You see, this chamber here breaks down the lawn clippings into a pulp which is then superheated by this coil, releasing methane gas. And that runs the car. I don't see why you need a car when you're too chicken to drive. I can too drive, Mochi. I just got a little nervous over left-hand turns, that's all. <laughs> you want the car so you can go on dates with the girls. Go away. <laughs> As I was saying, the environmental impact of my invention could be immense for future generations. Would you cut it out? I am mean, at a critical moment here. I'm really on the brink of something big. Goldie, maybe you should turn off the engine. Uh, I, I, I can't turn it off, Mochi, because I haven't turned it on yet. Uh, uh, th th this shouldn't be happening. You know what? That just makes me feel any better. That's it. I'm getting out of here. Who are you? Okay? Does anybody need a trip to the emergency room? No. Nah. Well, that's wonderful. Moochie, come on inside. Your breakfast is getting cold. Okay. Wilby, clean up this garage before your dad sees it, and don't forget to mow the lawn. Hi, Wilby. What happened? Oh, hi, Allison. Oh, uh, don't worry. It was nothing. It was just a little problem with the air-fuel ratio, that's all. Oh, Wilby! Oh, Wilby! Go away! <laughs> You're amazing, Wilby. You're like a genius, aren't you? Oh, come on, Allison. I, I mean, genius is a subjective evaluation based on IQ testing. Most scholars dismiss this approach as fallacious. You're going to be a really big deal someday. And then I'm going to brag to everyone that I knew you since kindergarten and we were friends. We are friends, aren't we, Wilby? Well, you know, I like to think of us that way, Allison. In fact, um... I was kind of wondering, maybe you'd like to, uh, you know, go out sometime. Hey, Trey. Hey, Allison. You want to go out with me this Friday? Sure. That'd be cool. So me and Will be going to go to the lake. You want to come? Yeah. Just give me a sec. Right. One second. <laughs> hey, bud, what happened to you? That's what I was wondering. A junk heap of yours blow up on you again? You know, I think you should stop trying to invent a car and sell that thing to the Pentagon as a bomb. Hey, I'm not going to drag that mud in my car. Don't even think of that. All right, all right. Okay, I'll, I'll change. Don't worry about it. Uh, Trey, you know that 50 bucks you borrowed from me? Yeah. Well, I kind of need it back. Oh, wow. But this is... This is a really bad time for me. I am totally tapped out. Yeah, I, you just heard I got a date with Allison. Yeah, Friday. well, so what? Maybe I'd like to go on a date with... Well, I don't know, with somebody, myself, sometime. Well, well, well. Is our little Wilby finally growing up on us? Who's the lucky girl? Vandals, where are you? Bonehead. Huh. Ah. Vandals! She's totally hot. 
Oh, she must be Mr. Mulvihill's niece. Yeah, I've seen her around. A French babe here in the neighborhood to Trey. Parents are off in Asia or China or someplace. Okay, Trey. I'm ready. Trey. Where were you? What are you doing? Come on. Trey, your engine is running. Right. Right. Let's get going. Uh, okay, just, just give me a sec, all right? Great, now Bonehead's gonna make us late. Get that noise. Don't you think we should wait? Fun! Step right up and see the unbelievable, the unimaginable, the unexplainable. See the amazing tiny 10-inch man. He's so small, he uses an ordinary dime as a dinner plate. See the beautiful wedding gown made entirely of steak and the world's largest ball of yarn. I will be. Um, yeah, we've got enough <laughs> yarn here to knit sweaters and mufflers for the entire nation of Lapland. Well, that is you, isn't it, Wilby? Uh, uh, <clears throat> sorry, ladies, I don't know any will be. I'm the terrifying gator man, half man, half gator from the dreaded swamps of Louisiana. We know it's you, will be. No, it isn't, Colleen. <laughs> yeah, right. Bye. Oh, man, I don't believe this. This is so humiliating. <laughs> well, this is fantastic. <laughs> no, you won't regret it. Thank you, sir. Dad, I can't take this anymore. This is my last summer as Gator Man. It's 110 degrees out there. But can't Moochie wear the costume? No, he's Lizard Boy, and you're not being a team player, son. This is a family business, and everybody does their part. Oh, I just got off the phone with the home office in Tampico, Florida, and guess what? They're giving us the Krupnik Diamond. Isn't that great? Yeah. Oh, it's only the best thing the company's got. They usually keep it at the big museums in Chicago or Key West, but they're letting us have it for a month. Well, that's great. Yeah. It's the biggest uncut diamond in the world. It's the size of a baseball. The customers are going to line up. We'll spruce up the whole museum. We'll put some of this other junk into storage. I'll have to go out of pocket on a fancy security system, but I've got a pal in the business who can get me a used one cheap. But believe me, it's worth it. Finally, something classy around here for a change. No more crummy moon rocks or two-headed goats. Or that tacky Mona Lisa made out of toast. Now, wait a minute. You think our Mona Lisa is tacky? No, Dad. Never mind. Go get the dolly. Tacky. <laughs> it's nuts. Dad, how do you get girls to go out with you? I don't. Your mother won't let me. No, I'm talking about me. I just, I've been thinking a lot about girls lately. Yikes. How old are you? Sixteen. Oh, boy. I knew we were going to have to have this talk one day. I assume you've had all the biology classes in school. Oh, I understand the mechanics of it, Dad. Oh, good. So, what I'm not sure about is how you get girls interested. Well, don't ask me. I'm no expert. Lucretia Borgia here now. She had quite a system back in the Dark Ages. If she developed a thing for a guy hanging around the Palazzo, she just cast a little magic love spell on it. Dad, you're not helping. This is verified by historians. These are her original rings and amulets. She was supposed to use these to make any man fall in love with her. And then when she got bored with them, she turned them into a dog like the one in the picture here. That looks like bundles. That's the Duke d'Alessi. He was a distinguished Italian nobleman and an incredible watchdog, from what I understand. Dad, you're barking up the wrong tree. Will be, I'm sorry. I don't know anything about women. I've been married for about 100 years. Go ask your mother. She was once a female. And if she gives you any useful hints, you can pass them along to me. Now, give me a hand with this case. Nothing like a little vigorous exercise to take your mind off, girls. On the count of three. Ready? One, two. Oh! Ah! You were supposed to be good at math. I'm sorry. Ow! Ow! Dad, are you all right? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Maybe you better go home. You've been enough help for one day. Are you sure? Yes, yes. I'll handle it. I'm sorry. It's okay.
an old love. To restore love? Oh, okay, Lucretia Borgia. It's okay. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so, hi. Hi. I wanted to introduce myself. I, I see you up in your room reading all the time. You read a lot. Yeah, well, I guess there's a lot I don't know about. <laughs> What's this? Oh, nothing. So. I'm Francesca. Oh, my name's Wilby. I, I'm staying here for the summer. Uh, my parents dumped me on my Uncle Charlie while they are working overseas. Wow. <laughs> I, I mean, <laughs> I, I, that's okay with you? Oh, I don't mind. I'm always up for new experiences. Well, I'm sorry, but you're not going to find any in this town. Oh, don't say that. It, it has a lot of charm. I'm from Paris, and I like your town a lot better. Really? No. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm, I'm bored stiff. What do you people do for fun around here? Oh, well, for fun, we've got... Uh, hey, we've got Pioneer Lake for swimming, uh, a great public library, excellent selection of periodicals. Uh, the new bulk store opened up this month. Uh, I can see it's going to be a long summer. Well, you know, um, this new... East Indian Lamberger joint just opened up. You, uh, you want to have lunch? East Indian Lamberger? <laughs> that qualifies as an interesting new experience. Daniels, get over here. Oh, Coach Evans, I, I totally forgot. You can't hide from me, Daniels. You and I have a date today to work on your left-hand turns. But Coach, come on, I, I was going to go have lunch. You're having lane changer for lunch, and you're having parallel parking for dessert. You know, you're the only one of my students that's ever failed driver's ed six times. And you ain't gonna make it to seven. Get in. S summer school. Bye. Bye. Oh, coach. Can we do this later? Hey, Daniels, I think you go a bit faster here. Uh, the basic speed laws say never go any faster than is safe, sir. You're driving seven miles an hour, kid. You know, the problem with you is you're too timid. You drive like you're frightened of all the other cars. Coach, I am frightened of all the other cars. Do you know that for the driver under 18 years old, the, the chance of getting into a fatal collision is two and a half times that of the average driver? Now, most of these collisions occur at major Stop intersections. That. That's ridiculous. Where do you get these statistics from, anyway? From our driver's training textbook, sir. Oh, no kid. I'll have to take another look at that. You need to get more aggressive, kid. The road is a football field. Forget defensive driving. I believe in a strong offense. Now you got the ball, and these other cars want to take you down. Then go for it. Weave in and out. That's it. You gotta dodge. Keep your head up. Find your hole. Weave. Watch your sides. Stop, Daniel. Stop. Stop. You're out of bounds, kid. Nah, maybe you were right. Let's just go have lunch. You have two lamb burgers and one vindaloo on a stick. Okay, that will be 564. Please drive up. Thank you. You like my shirt? Okay, yeah, sir. I just think it's okay. Okay, now pull up here and execute a left hand turn. I know you can do it, kid. Coach, can't we just go straight and make three right turns? Oh, come on, Daniels. You know what? The other kid's calling you a chicken hearted wuss, baby. Coach, I've lived with it all before. You're making a left hand turn right up here. He is forward. We'll be driving. Everybody run. It's fourth down. You're on the one yard line. There's one minute left on the clock. Make sure it's clear. Keep your eyes on the road. Now punch it. Punch it. Stop, Daniel. Stop. 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 Which pedal? Welcome to New Delhi. 
You fumbled the ball, Daniels. Uh, you're such a bonehead! Making a fool of yourself everywhere you go! Are you okay, Wilby? Hey, somebody order a burger? Don't worry about it. Hey, he's fine. Coach Evans, I told you not to take the training wheels off his car yet. You have ruined my grand opening. I'm really sorry, Bob. Who sent you to do this thing? It was Burger Shack on 15th Street, wasn't it? No. Oh, I knew it. This is war. I think I just caused an international incident. dog locked up, Charlie. Or how the animal control people after him. Actually, Ron, I think he likes you. Let's just say the feeling. Feeling's not mutual. <laughs> Thank you for the ride. And see you later. Great, even the dog's doing better than me. Good boy. It's one of the Borgia rings. Oh, great. Now Dad's gonna think I ripped off the museum. There's an inscription here. A spell. A love spell. Go, come on. Good boy, let's try it again. Go. Okay, Lucretia, let's try a little experiment. Whoa. Wow, that's, uh, that's very interesting. All right, let's give it a shot. In canis corpore transmuto. In canis Corpore transmuto. Hey, that's Latin. Canis, that means dog. Transmuto. Hmm, transmuto. lawn last week. I want you down here pushing that mower now. Uh, what's it, Dad? He's locked himself in the bathroom again. Will be. Get your butt down now here. growing boys need their privacy. He's probably just messing with his hair. You know teenage boys and their hair. Hair. Will be. <gasps> out of there. Right now. I'm a dog. And if Dad catches me, I'm a dead dog. Uh, the other day he was asking me about girls. Well, that's good news. It's about time he noticed the other half of the species. Go away. Leave me alone. Uh -oh. 
Gesundheit. Bobby, open up. I'm serious. I need my allergy medicine. I'm trapped. My throat is dry. I'm hyperventilating. I need a drink of water. I'm not that thirsty. Bobby, what? You got one more minute. And I'm coming in there. It's a little warm to be getting so upset. I think I'll go mix up a nice pitcher of lemonade. Bobby! One, two, three! All right, Bundles. Oh, no. Bundles, you're not supposed to be over here. You're alone, Sam? Is that it? You want to play with me? Sure you do. You're going to be my dog now. Come on, come on. What is he doing here? Please, Mom, I just wanted to play with him a few minutes. Well, he looks hungry. I bet you would like a nice piece of raw liver. Mm -hmm. Think again. Yes. Too small? All right. Mm. Bigger piece? Mm -mm. No. Yeah, let me feed him. Mm -hmm. Come on, Bundle, eat it. It's okay. Uh, you can have it. Okay. Here, take the bathroom door. Oh. What's that monster doing here? Ron. Ron? Get out of here. Get out. Get out. Get out. Ron, go, go, baby. Get out. What? Good. Get out. Out. Look out. Ow, 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 go. There you are. Excuse me. Did somebody say excuse me? Okay, okay. <sighs> spells, spells, come on. How do I get out of this dog? A shape-shifting spell sometimes lasts a few hours and sometimes can last forever? Forever. Good news there. Or the curse might just come and go capriciously. Great. Traditionally, a curse of this kind can only be cured by a remarkable act of bravery. Bravery? A bold, selfless gesture such as risking your life against impossible odds to rescue a damsel in distress? Hmm. Well, that shouldn't be a problem for me. I choke when I have to make a left-hand turn. <sighs> Mike, Gary, do you read me? Yeah, this is uh, One Ocean Foxtrot. Affirmative, uh, we read you. Uh, yeah, Mike, take a cruise over to Viscano Drive. We've had a report of a vicious sheepdog running around loose. Affirmative, uh, dispatch, uh, that's a roger. We're on our way, over and out. All right, let's roll. <laughs> Vicious sheepdog. They usually seem so friendly. Oh, sure they do. Until that day when you least expect it, they rip your throat out with those razor sharp incisors. Oh, yeah. All this story in the book, Hanson. Down in Florida, Pomeranian ripped the little old lady's arm out right by the socket. <laughs> yeah. And you wonder why I eat my steaks well done, huh? You don't much like dogs, do you, Kelly? Oh, no, I do. Sure I do. A dog can be a wonderful thing. It can be a pet for a child, a, a boon companion to the elderly, a trusted guide to the visually impaired. But let me tell you something, Hanson. The day that little Fluffy crosses the line, becomes a menace to society, it's when they call me in. How'd that application for the police academy turn out? Oh, great. I'm taking the exam next week. Oh, good luck. Thanks. You know, they give you a real gun. If there's anything I can do... Ugh, I'm starving. I can't exactly go home for dinner. Well, at least until Dad goes to bed. What time is it? Ooh, pizza. Hmm. What am I gonna do for money? <sighs> Ow! <sighs> I'm never gonna get used to this hair in my eyes. Hey, what do you got there, guys? <coughs> You're right. It looks too good to share. Hey, manja pucci. I'm starving. Hmm, she's cute. Oh, boy. Thanks. Hmm. Where have I seen this before? Yuck! Cold spaghetti from the trash? This stuff bites. I'm going for a burrito. See ya. Man, I'm starved. 
Huh, New Delhi Bobs. Hey, would you look at that? They put old Delhi Bob back together again. Normally I'd be ashamed to show my face around here after today, but... Curry fries, um, nacho zindaloo. Hmm, I don't have my wallet. Ah, oh, who am I kidding? I don't even have my pants. May I be taking your order, please? Uh, yeah, um, a double tandoori burrito with extra curry and uh, no saffron. Please drive up, thank you. Wow, look at that, good service. Coast is clear. See ya. Dine and dash. I always wanted to do that. Mm. You have the uh, right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you. You have the right to, uh, to, uh, uh, um, a, uh, um... An attorney? Attorney, yeah, right. Hey, who's supposed to be learning this stuff, me or you? Sorry. Okay, help me with the codes, will you? Sure. Uh, code 436. All right. 436, um, 436, sniper on the rooftop, uh, gunfight in progress. Uh, bicycle theft. Okay, give me another one. Code 321. 321, oh, that one I know, that's easy. That's a uh, high-speed chase, suspect, armed and dangerous. Sorry, officer's breaking for lunch. You know, you are purposely picking the most difficult ones out of there, aren't you? Hey, isn't that the dog? How many times do I tell you, he's not the dog, he's the perp. Let's rock and roll. Hey, what? Get him, get him. See ya. Maybe he just went home. Shh. Shh. Look in here. Look around. He's in here. Look in here. Shh. Quiet. Shh. Come on, let's go. No. No. I smell dog. No dog is smart enough to hide oh. inside a dumpster. Oh, Not when he can hide in a puddle of slime under the dumpster. Yuck. No dog. Oh, that was rank. I can't see. You know, I got a cousin. Uh, I need a shower. Maybe a flea bath. I'm itchy. Uh, uh, right that foul. Shut up. Will they ever go to bed? <sighs> uh, I guess it's safe to go in. Go 
home. Go on. Go on, girl. Look, I'm sure you're very nice and everything, but it just wouldn't work out between us. My dad doesn't like dogs. He'd never let me keep you. Go on, just go home already. Please. <sighs> Bundles! Oh man, you can talk. This is so weird. You can talk just like Wilby. I am Wilby. This is cool. You're a dog, Wilby. You're my dog. Can I keep you? Please, hon, can Shh, I? Shh, forget it. I'm not gonna be your dog. Get that idea out of your head right now. But I can teach you lots of tricks, like rolling over. You're real smart, and you learn fast. We can go on stupid pet tricks. And Dad will learn to like you, too, if he doesn't shoot you first. <gasps> what do you mean? Dad said, the next time we see his bundles in this house, he's... Ruby! Moochie! I'm coming in there! Oh, no! Quick! Cover me up! Good, my feet! Cover my feet! I'm trying! Good, good! Now cover my head! My head! I'm trying, I'm trying! Ruby, stop screwing around! I heard you come in. Now, what's the big idea? Dad, huh? Let me show you something. I got the high scoring Galapagon. I got 500 energy pods. Oh, and I destroyed a space salamander. That's terrific, Moochie. I wish I knew what you're talking about. Okay, pal. Where did you disappear to tonight? Hi. Don't hi me. Where were you? I had to pry the door off the bathroom. I just went to the library to read. You snuck out the bathroom window to go to the library. Okay, I know what's going on here. I was an adolescent once myself. But don't push me too far. Shut out the light and get to bed. Ruby, it's you again. Don't look so disappointed. Well, I kind of am, because I really want a dog. Anyways, good night, Ruby. Good night, Mooch. Bundles! Hey, where have you been all day? That's a good boy. Hey, I haven't forgotten about you either. Now, come on, you're getting hair in my experiment. Just get on the floor there. Here you go. <sighs> hey, Wilby. How's it going? Allison, hi. Is this your laboratory? It's really fascinating. All your experiments and inventions. What's this? Oh, that. That's just a, just a weed whacker. Oh. <laughs> What's this? Oh, that. That's actually my, uh, my anti-gravity hat. See, if you fell out of a second-story window, that hat was supposed to suspend you in midair. Did it work? Well, sort of. Remember that summer I spent in traction? Oh. Yeah. Oops. Yeah. So, um, what are you doing? Uh, actually, I'm in the middle of something right now. Should I go? No, no, I, I stick around. Hey, wait, I have an idea. Why don't you videotape me, okay? Okay. All right. All right? Yeah. Greetings, future generations of scientists. 
We are attempting once again to operate the methane grass car. I believe what went wrong last time was that we had too many insects in the grass clippings and it clogged up the fuel line. However, I am very confident today that we've gotten all the bugs out. Good. Okay, here goes. All right. You better move back a little bit. Maybe a little bit further. Kidding. Doesn't seem to be any damage. Are you all right? Guess so, yeah. I will be. Until you get a little more confidence behind the wheel, son, I suggest that you practice in a big parking lot or on the old roads by the lake where there's no traffic. There's nothing wrong with Wilby's driving. It's an experimental car. It just malfunctioned. Oh, really? Why don't you take bundles inside, dear? We don't want to upset him with any more excitement. I think bundles and I could use a little excitement. Come on, boy. I know where there is some paint drying we could go look at. Bye, will be. Good luck with the experiment. A little more vehicular trouble, bud? She's just not ready for the open road. Yeah, neither are you. Here, will be. Thanks. Hey, Trey. See you at 7.30. Oh, right. Allison, 7.30. Sure. See you then. Okay. Bye. She's a good kid. Okay, she's definitely a uh, small town, but she has her, her fine points, and oh, they are so fine. What do you want, Trey? Well, I, I just realized that I have a bit of a prop. No, forget it, Trey. Not a cent. Hey, I'm not hitting you up for cash. No, it's nothing like that. As you know, I have a date with Allison. Congratulations. Thank you. Funny thing is, I completely forgot about Allison and set a date with that little French thing, uh, Francesca. Now, why would you do something like that? Well, you see, I can't decide which one I like better. So I'll check them both out side by side, you know, put them through their paces. I figured this would appeal to you because it's very scientific. Yeah, but it's also very disgusting, Trey. You know, I mean, these girls are people. It's not like test driving a car. <laughs> and what would you know about test driving anything, bicycle boy? Hey, look, if, if you don't want to uh, double with me tonight, just, uh, just forget about it. I can call... Wait, wait, what do you mean double? Or like a date? That's right. Me and Allison. And Francesca. Look, we make it a foursome. I just work it so both girls think they're with me. And the other one will think they're with you. Yeah, except nobody's with me. That's an awful idea. I, the first time in the cockpit, you don't get to fly the plane. It's a chance to watch the master, you know, learn a few new tricks. Maybe next time you go on a date, you can bring a girl along, too. All right, OK, you got me. I'll do it. <laughs> But you better choose fast, because I would never do anything like this ever again. Yeah, of course. I wouldn't ask you to. So 7.30, okay? Sure. Good. I wouldn't want to inconvenience you by any... I'm driving, by the way. I hope that doesn't bother you. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, I need some gas money. You're beautiful. You are beautiful. <laughs> Gee, Francesca, you look lovely tonight. Um, hey, Allison, how you doing? Bonsoir, Francesca. Catch you later, Al. Yo, Francesca. Au revoir. 
Bumblebee, how do you feel? Feel great, Mooch. Got a date tonight. Are you sure they don't feel kind of funny? Nope. No, I don't feel funny. This book says the spell can come back at any time. Well, it's not going to come back. What's in the bag? Nothing. Hey, that's mine. A little trip to the pet shop? Look, Moochie, forget about it, all right? I'm not going to be your pet. This is so unfair. Hey, Allison. This being Wilby's first date, no? I've been thinking it'd be real cool if you paid him a little extra attention. Yeah, maybe make Francesca jealous or something. Since when are you crying over Wilby? <laughs> hey, I got a lot of affection for my little bud. Think of him sort of as my pet. Hey, Bonehead, would you get out here, please? Pick up your date. We're here. Hey, don't get up. I'll get her for you. I'm really glad you and Francesca are going out. I think it's great. Of course, she's not exactly the kind of girl I pictured you going out with. Well. What kind of girl did you picture? Oh, I don't know. Someone not quite so... So... I don't know. Hey, hey, everybody. Fabulous. Doesn't she look hot? She looks cold to me. Don't you think you'll be chilly in that? No, I'm perfectly comfortable. Thank yeah, I, I, I know, but... I think just to make sure you should sit in the front with me, because it can get awfully chilly in the back. If you think it's chilly in the back seat now, Trey, just wait until later on tonight. Great. We go to the movies. Oh, I didn't think thanks. Oh, I didn't think yeah, thanks. Yeah, what? Yeah, what? Well, he wants to see it again. The moon is just rising. Steve, there's three seats for us right there. And, uh, we'll be. There's a seat over there with your name on it. Sorry, bud. Take some supplies. Thanks. Why is Alison making me be sick by himself? It's just a lover's quarrel. What? You two are getting pretty chummy over there. This is stupid. I'll sit with Wilby. How's the movie? Uh, it's terrible. I'm actually enjoying it. <laughs> I'm transforming. Not again. Uh-oh. 
Francesca here. Oh, yeah. Fine. What? And here's your stupid popcorn. <laughs> There is a simple explanation for all of this. So this whole thing was somehow Willby's fault. Oh, yeah. 100%. I and mean, this guy doesn't have the guts to ask Alice and Adam himself, so he, he comes up with this totally stupid scam. That does not sound like Willby. Trust me, he's a total weirdo. I'm trying to help the guy out. If I'm guilty of anything, it's of being a righteous bud. Bandles, be nice. Trey's being a righteous bud. <laughs> you know, it seems kind of a shame to waste all that affection on a dog. <laughs> I have an idea. Why don't we put Fido inside? <laughs> I'm getting the feeling he just does not like you. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, maybe we ought to just say goodnight. Okay, I'm feeling a bit shagged myself. Good night. Good night. Hey, are you okay? I'm cool. Never better. So I'll see you around or something, okay? You don't think much of trade, do you, Bandos? No. I'm with you. But I'll let you in on a little secret. I really like Willie. <laughs> Francesca, did you have a good time? Yes, I'm going to bed. Good night. You can stay in my room tonight if you want. And in the morning, I'll give you a nice bath. Uh, I should probably get out of here. Truth is, I may be a dog, but I'm still a gentleman. I better get myself out of this dog suit before I get into some real big trouble. Bundles? Bundles, get in here. Oh, no. Raul, listen to me. I'm going in tonight. No problem. This is a cracker box. Because I know the guy who runs the place. Daniels. He's a simp. Hmm? Look, trust me. It's the easiest mic I ever had. I'll break in around midnight. And I'll walk right out with a crumping diamond. <gasps> a jewel thief. I gotta go warn my dad. Customers are really going to line up to see this. And this is going to keep it safe. All these jewels and the Krupnik diamond will make a nice little addition to your collection, Raul. Of course, it'll be hot. But you can smash it into a thousand little Krupniks, and then no one will be any the wiser. Good. You and the chopper meet me out by the lake. And Raul, you better come through your end of this. Don't disappoint me. Why? 
because I find disappointments very disappointing. As you will find out if you ask anybody who's ever disappointed me. Although such people are very hard to find as they are no longer around and about. Comprende, amigo? Good. We finally understand each other. Bandos! Hanko? Yes? Oh, hello, dear. Shouldn't you be in bed? I was looking for Bandos. Oh. Well, he should be around here someplace. Uh, Bandos, here, boy. Bandos! Bandos! I was uh, just about to take him out in a little while for a walk. Is this late? The night air helps us both to sleep. I wanted him to sleep with me tonight. Well, I'm sure that would have been very nice. Listen, would you excuse me? I am on the phone. Are you going somewhere? Yes, I was thinking of taking a trip. Can I come along? No. No, it's a business trip, really. It's a, you know, big convention. Pretty boring stuff, actually. Um, I better take this call. It's long distance. Okay. Good night, Uncle. Good night, dear. Sleep well. That was my niece. She doesn't suspect a thing. What'd she think if she knew her dear old Uncle Charlie was really an international jewel thief? Actually, she thinks I'm pretty boring. <laughs> What were you doing up there? Look, Francesca, I have to tell you something, but I don't want this thing to stop you from liking me. I, I mean, if you were actually ever thinking about liking me. What are you talking about? Your uncle is a jewel thief. What? Your uncle Charlie is a majorly dangerous international jewel thief, and he's made plans to steal the Krupnik diamond from my dad's museum. I know it sounds totally unbelievable, but it's true. Ah, and that is why you were climbing around outside my bedroom window. Because my Uncle Charlie is a jewel thief. Right. Uh, actually, I was, I was trying to escape from his bedroom. You were in his bedroom? Yes, that's how I heard the plan. I heard everything. Wilby, <sighs> what's going on? Nothing. You were in my uncle's room, and he told you he was a jewel thief. No, he, he didn't tell me. I heard him talking on the phone. He just... He didn't know I was in the room. He didn't see you there in his bedroom? He didn't not see me. He just didn't notice me. Look, I can't explain it to you because it'll make my whole story sound stupid. Too late. Look, Francesca, you have to believe me. You may be in terrible danger. You have to get out of this house. No, look. Look, I don't know what you and Rhea are up to, and I don't care. I'm sick of it. Francesca, I was a dog. Your uncle didn't notice me because I was a dog. <laughs> I was Bundles, your uncle's dog. You see, I found this ring. It belonged to Lucretia Borgia back in the Dark Ages, and it had this horrible curse, and it turned me into a dog. I was Bundles. You gotta believe me. Allez, viens, Bundles. Come on, let's go inside. Trey was right about you, Wilby. You are a total weirdo. Good night. <laughs> Look, get away from me, all right? Stop following me. <laughs> I'm not a dog, all right? Get out of here, okay? Leave me alone. When training your dog, speak in a strong, clear voice. Stay. Sit. Stay. Sit. Your dog will obey any command if it is direct and forceful. Stay. Sit. How was your date? I can't tell you, Moochie. I can't tell anybody. Stay. Sit. It works. Moochie. I turned into bundles again tonight. You did? Yeah. And I was in Francesca's house, and I overheard her Uncle Charlie making plans to steal Dad's diamond. Wow, did you call the police? No, of course not. I can't call anybody. Nobody would believe me. I tried to tell Francesca, but now I'm in the doghouse with her. She thinks I'm a total weirdo. If you're a ninja, you can sneak up on jewel things and ha, hoo, ya, hoo, ya, chop, chop. You got any better suggestions? Or you can tell Dad. Oh, no way. Dad already thinks I'm a total psycho. I can't talk to him. Well, be Dad's a good guy. Once you get to know him, you better warn him so he calls the police. Dad can call the police for what? Moochie, shouldn't you be in bed? No, we have to stop the jewel thieves. Oh, yeah. I forgot about them. Well, I am starved. 
Anybody want a snack? No thanks, Dad. I really can't eat. Listen, I have something very important to tell you. Mm -hmm. I overheard Charlie Mulvihill talking tonight, and he's making plans to steal the Krupnik diamond from the museum. Ooh, very interesting, will we? Watch your mogam and fudge. Mmm, boy. Wait a minute. This is this natural no-fat ice cream your mother buys. It tastes like frozen shaving cream. Dad, are you listening to me? Yeah, I'm listening, I'm listening, and I'm foraging for food. So, Charlie Mulvihill is going to sneak past my new security system, and he's going to steal the Krupnik diamond from the auditorium. What I'm wondering is, if Mr. Mulvihill is going to rob me, why is he discussing his plans in front of my son? Right. Wow. Wow, indeed. You see, most jewel thieves like to keep a secret. Hmm. Well, he didn't realize I was there, Dad. He thought it was bundles. He thought you were bundles? Right. And why did he think you're bundles? Well, because sometimes I look like bundles. Uh. Now you did it! You killed Dad! He's not dead. He just fainted. Ugh, on top of his pie. He's going to be mad when he wakes up. Well, uh, I better go to the auditorium and see if I can stop Mr. Mulvihill. You stay here and explain things to Dad. Chicken. You bet. Oh, all right, give me another one. 87. 87. 87. 87 would be driving under the influence. Bicycle theft. Oh. All right, another one, quick. 101. 101. 101. 101. Accidental dismemberment. Murder. Oh, geez, I can't believe I missed that. And that's my favorite one. I know. Come on, let's take a break. You hungry? I'm starving. Let's go over to Gas and Gulp. They got 29 cent burgers. I have two simple rules in life, Hanson, okay? One, I don't buy my food where I buy my gas. And B, I don't eat any beet product that costs less than a buck. Bingo. There's our perp. Whoa. Uh -oh. That's not a stray, he's got a call. Yeah, he's my call. Oh, yeah. After the chase he put us through, he is going down big time. Oh, no. Get in. Hey, hey. Relax, tough guy. You're not going anywhere. Okay, loop him. Loop him. Loop him. Hey, get out of here. Hey, get off of there. Get off of that. Thanks. See ya. Sit. Stay. Darn. Oh, can I give you do it? I loop the dog. You already used the loop. You put the loop around the dog. You pull the. Oh. Calm down, you know. You know, Kelly, you should really learn. Just let it go. Let it go. I can't help it. I'm Irish, okay? We're passionate people, all right? The dog was right. All he had to do was loop. Hey, what do you the... say we go for a cafe latte, you and me? Okay? Cafe latte. Yeah, that'd be nice. You know, maybe we could get some croissants. You know, and actually, we could do a little arts and crafts. Yeah, some macrame would be fun, wouldn't it? This isn't Yeah, necessary. you know, no, no, let's get some clay and let's throw a little pottery to relax. I hope she got away. Oh, oh no. Bad dogs, Bundles. I'm going to fall over town for you. You know, we got work to do. Come on. Dear, and now you're all wet. Come on, come on. Mr. Mulvihill is going to steal the diamond. We have to help Will we stop him. Whoa, 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 Moochie. I think the police need to handle this. No, let's not involve the police. I'll find Wilby. Wilby's a dog? Yes, Ron. And that's old news. Everybody knows that. Come on, honey. Oh. Stop wiggling. Never used to be such a fraidy cat. Francesca and those kids have spoiled you. 
Oh, I've been overfeeding you too. Stay. What to do? Come on, jump. Now. Jump. Okay, fine. Sit Not on me, you idiot. Jump over the lasers and turn off that alarm. Quiet. Want to get the cops in here? Shut up. Disappoint me, Bundles. And you know what happens to anyone who disappoints me. You are not going anywhere. <laughs> Daniels is such an idiot. I'll deal with you later. Scared kid, let's go. We got what we came for. Bundles? Bundles. Bundles. All right, come out of there. Quit screwing around and come out of there. Whoa. I dropped it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah. Ah. Where's the crop, Nick? That's what we want to know, Daniels. Where is the diamond? I wish I knew. Believe me, I don't have enough insurance to cover a loss like this. Probably going to lose my business. Wait a minute. You, you don't think I robbed my own museum, do you? You see this as an inside job. Your dad and you worked this heist together. I figure he must be the brains of the outfit. We're not quite sure what your contribution was. Come on, Daniels. Do yourself a favor. What'd you do with the diamond, pal? Ask Charlie Mulvihill. He's your jewel thief. Yeah, I know, I know. Your son overheard him making his plan. Yeah, what we'd like to know is how is it the junior was not noticed by this big-time thief if he was in the same room with him? You got an answer to that, pal? Huh? I do. But I don't want to tell you. Well, then we're going to be here a long time. Okay. I'll tell you. But try to keep an open mind. A dog? You say you're a dog? We got that same crazy story from your father. All right. All right. All right. Let's just, just calm down and start all over again. You are a dog? A Bratislavian sheepdog. But not all the time, just some of the time. And your father? What kind of dog is he? He's not a dog at all. He's just a, just a, a regular person. Why are you scratching, kid? Nervous? No, I think I may have fleas. Lieutenant, we searched the Daniels home. And? No diamond. Look, I told you, Charlie Mulvihill dropped it in the museum. I didn't steal it. I never stole anything in my whole life. But we did find this in the kid's room. Oh, where'd you get the fancy ring, kid? A Cracker Jack box? No, I took it from the mu... from the museum.
Dad, I'm so sorry for dragging you into all this. It's okay, Wilby. I know it's not your fault. Hey, friend. Do you mind sharing a little bit of the bench here? Oh, yeah. All right. Thank you. Yeah. You know, it occurs to me, son, that there's a lot of things going on in your life that I don't know anything about. And if we ever get out of prison, I promise I'm going to pay a lot more attention to you. If I could get out of here right now, I'd go find that Krupnik diamond and rub those cops' noses in it. Now, now, son, you're a young man. You have your whole life before you. If there's any nose rubbing to be done, I'll be doing it. Wait a minute, Dad. Dad, it's happening again. You're kidding. What'll I do? Should I put down some newspaper? Hey, that, that, that's great. Do that again. That is fantastic. People would be amazed by that. My customers would really line up for this. <laughs> Dad, I want to cure this thing. I'm not going on display in the auditorium. Okay, okay, relax. Probably getting out of show business anyway. <laughs> Bless you. Wait, Dad, I got an idea. Guard! What's this dog doing in here? What? Mm hmm. Oh, right. Hey, guard! Get this dog out of here. He's not supposed to be in here. The Somebody's idea of a joke. Very funny. Yeah, very, very funny. This isn't a dog pound. We're entitled to our dignity. Ha <laughs> ha! So long, suckers. Whoa. You can wiggle all you want, but you are not getting away this time. Leash me. Oh, so you have an owner too Arr, here, huh? Yeah. Mr. Charles Mulvey Hill. Well, I bet he'll be glad to see you again. Let go of me right now! I'm not going anywhere with you morons! What did he say? I tried to be a good sport, but I don't have time for any more of this, understand? I'm late. I gotta go clear my dad. Unleash me! <laughs> Thank you. Um, and I would appreciate it also if you would let my friend there go. Open the cage! Let's go! Dog germs. I hate that. Now run on home. Go on. Thank you, guys. I know you were just doing your jobs. Um, and, uh, sorry about calling you morons. Well, good night. What just... What, what just happened there? I don't know. It's, it, it's a dream. We were driving along in the van. I nodded off. Bang, we plowed into a tree. And now, and now we're dead. We're dead. I feel good. Dead is good. Dogs talk to you when you're dead. Yeah, hey, we're just dead. I'll drive. Would you mind? Hey, I, I feel good, though. I feel good. You know, dead is good. I feel good, we're, even though we're dead. No, it's Beethoven. What are you doing here? Mom says, if we don't find the diamond, Dad's going to jail forever. <sighs> Boy, I'm glad to see you. Moochie, stop petting me. I don't like it. Moochie, you better go home. This is dangerous. I'm not going anywhere. Not until we help Dad. Okay, you can help Dad. Mr. Mulvihill tripped on something over here when he dropped the diamond. I didn't see it, but I remember hearing a clunk sound like it hit something. Like this? 
No. Like this? No. Or like this? No, stop that. You'll break something. Like this? Nice going, Mooch. Sorry. <gasps> That's the sound. I think the diamond's in there. Can you reach down in it? I'm not reaching down in there. What if there are spiders? Moochie, I can't do it. I don't have hands. Okay. It's kind of tight. I think I got it. <gasps> I'm stuck. Come on, Mooch, you can do it. Pull, pull. <laughs> That's it, you did it. Good work, Mooch. Thanks. Now I'm taking the diamond back to the police station, and you're taking your butt home to bed. Okay. You know, Wilby? What? I like having a dog and everything, but I kind of miss you being my big brother. Don't kid yourself. No matter what happens, Mooch, I'll always be your big brother. I'm sorry, Lieutenant. I don't know anything about a jewel theft. And I can assure that Wilby Daniels did not overhear anything in my house. I don't let him come around anymore. He's, he's kind of a strange kid. Yeah, we know. <laughs> Lieutenant, we lost the Daniels boy. You lost him? Somehow. And there seems to be some confusion about this. He got away. Well, it looks like you guys have your hands full. Uh, look, I've been up all night. If you don't mind, I think I'll go home now. My dog is missing and I have to find him. Be on the lookout for Wilbur Daniels, male, Caucasian, 16 years of age, brown hair, 5'11", 120 pounds. This place is crawling with cops. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Thank you for saving me the trouble of going to look for you. What have you brought me? Good dog. You've redeemed yourself. Now hand it over. Don't get cute with me, Bundles. Hand it over. Now! Give me. You're gonna wish you hadn't done that. Let's go. Everybody's talking about Mobile Hill's dog! This big, shaggy dog! And the Daniels kid, he thinks he is a dog! Excuse me, Lieutenant. What? I was just looking through the bulletins. There was a shaggy sheepdog involved in that big New York museum burglary last month. Yeah, and didn't they find dog hairs at that jewel heist in Paris? Hey, you think Wilby Daniels is somehow connected to this dog burglar? I don't know what to think. All I know is we gotta get that Daniels kid. He's our number one suspect. Now let's find him. All right, now wait a minute. Just tell me I'm a little confused. What are we looking for, a boy or a dog? Both. Units, be on the lookout for a prime suspect in the Gilder Museum 211, a male sheepdog. I repeat, sheepdog. Gray and white, shaggy hair, 80 or 90 pounds. Proceed with caution. This dog may be armed. Yeah, and he can talk, too. Hey. Oh, I cannot believe that we let him get away. I let him slip right through my fingers. You know, I should have followed my instincts with my dog. I should not listen to a thing that that mutt said. Calm down. Oh, yeah, calm you? down. Pull over. I'm driving. Pull yes, over. Hey. Oh, yeah, calm down. Pull over. Pull over. I'm driving. Last time you're gonna pull pal. Sit, stay. Okay, listen up, bundles. I want that diamond. The Krupnik was the most beautiful jewel I've ever stolen. Oh no. But you took the joy out of it by betraying me. It's been a long and lucrative partnership. It ends now. What are you doing? Oh, I was just going to cut up some meat. 
for a snack. For bundles. Why are you up so early? I couldn't sleep. No, go back to bed. I thought I told you to go back to bed. What's going on here? Go upstairs now and stay in your room. <gasps> go! Get your paws off her! Who said that? I said let her go! Bandles? Francesca, run! What's going on here? <gasps> Wimmy, help me! Yeah. Francesca's in major trouble. Why am I such a chicken? It's not too late. I'm out of grass. Oh, oh, Ron. Oh, are you all right? You seem well No, have you? Come on, Mo. Faster. Faster. Come on. Save Francesca. Let's see if Bundles is over at Charlie's house. Wait, wait, wait. Well, we're at it. Why don't we send a SWAT team to surround the doghouse? Oh, come on. Please work. Okay. Yeah. All right. Here it goes. I'm saying this. Follow that dog. The suspect is proceeding along River Road toward the lake. The lake. Your son is probably meeting his accomplices. Accomplices? Oh, I was worried that he didn't have any friends. <laughs> There's a river. There's a road. No, it's they gotta be together. River, river road. road. River road. Riverton. Oh. Oh, there he is. Uh, he is not gonna get away this time.
Get a rabies shot? Come on. Willoughby, are you okay? I don't feel so good, Mom. Oh. Must be something I ate. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, good job, guys. Who are they? Yep. Hey, it's a good thing we were here. You wouldn't have caught him if it wasn't for us. Yeah, you know, I sensed instinctively when I saw that guy. He's a dangerous criminal. Yeah, I want to be a, a detective myself one day, you know? And, uh, yeah, yeah, I said to my friend here, when I saw that guy, I said, that guy is a definite code, uh... He's a, I said to him, you know, he's a code, uh, he would be a code, uh, 336, yeah. Definite code 336 if I've ever seen one. Peeping Tom. It was, it was this one. Look, come on, it's over between us. I told you I'm really sorry, but I'm not a dog anymore. Come on, shoot, please. Don't make it any harder than it is. <laughs> uh, hey, buddy, bud, 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 bud. How's it going? Hey, Trey. I've been better. I had to cut that diamond right out of my stomach. Yeah? <laughs> At least when they cut my tonsils out, they gave them to me in a jar. Look, Francesca moved away. Uh, things sure were interesting when she was around, you know? Yeah, I hear you. Francesca's one intriguing babe. You know, it, it makes me crazy, Trey. The one time in my life I get a girl interested, she moves away. Yeah, but you got to think of these things philosophically. Okay, some guys just have a special talent with girls. And the rest, yeah, well, I guess you're just geniuses in other areas. What are you going to do? Hey, Trey. Hi, Welby. Hey, looking hot, Al. Thanks. <laughs> she really seems to like you, Welby. Oh, come on, please. I'm begging you, shoo. It's over. So, so, Al, you, uh, you ready to go to the lake? Yes, I am, Trey. But I was thinking I'd ask Wilby to take me. I'm very curious about seeing this clean-burning engine of yours in action. It sounds very ecological. Well, well, hey, <laughs> I'd be very happy to give you a, a demonstration. In the interest of science, of course. Hop in. See you later, bonehead. Step right up, ladies and gentlemen! Come on! Step come right on. up and see the amazing dog boy. All walking, all talking, all mowing. You got right a good here. crowd today. Ah, it's 110 out here. Please help me remember. Why can't Wilby be doing this? I think Wilby's done quite enough now, don't you? The amazing dog boy, Canis Miliatis, a normal pooch, but one that talks, one that walks, one that will amaze and confuse you. Yes, the dog boy. Come and see our dog boy, one of a kind, at Gilder's Auditorium.